Hi, welcome to part 5. This and the following four videos will be about Pixar Stylize Hatching Display Filters, which will help us stylize our render even further. I'm Ernst, I'm with 93 Animation, and in this scene we've got Dylan Sisson's walking teapot with the raw materials, and we continue where we left off in part 4. So let's jump right in and add a Pixar stylized hatching filter. And for the time being, I'll mute the sections and curvature so that we can focus on the hatching itself. You immediately see a change in the IPR session, and that's because the visualizer is by default on hatching on color. At the end, we'll switch to hatching final, but for now, We'll stay on hatching on color so we can dial in the texture type, the projection frequency, blending, and spline ramp parameters, and switch to hatching final at the end for the final touches. So let's pick one of the factory texture sets. I'll choose patches and change to screen projection, change the frequency to 2.5. And that looks about right. At this point, we may look at the hatching purely as a value sketch, where the goal is to get a certain dynamic range for a good read. Let's see how we can prove this in the next video and add some uh, lighting adjustments. I'll see you there. Cheers.